Back for part three of the purchases I made at the Chicago Sports Spectacular this past weekend, so it's been a few days now, and I ha still have not gone through everything I bought since I bought it, so you guys are taking a look at this for the first time and for the second time for me, I guess, but since I bought it. Anyways, these cards, they're all autographed cards. They all came from the same dealer, and they cost me about $1,500. There's probably 300 cards or so there, so around $5 a piece. So when I'm showing you guys this stuff, I'm gonna talk about why I purchased them. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about the dealer too as well. Guy I've known for a while. He's been collecting for about 40 years. And all of these are in person by him. He lives in the Florida area. He's, he goes to fantasy camps, he goes to minor league games, he goes to spring training, and he, different events, charity events, and all that kind of stuff. He kind of knows the guys around the area. He knows the clubhouse people. You know, he's just been doing it. He's a really good dude. He's been doing it for a long time. He loves it. He's, he's collected basically all the top sets. You know, he tried to complete them, and then he just broke them up. I think he's just broken them up in the last few years. So fortunately, this time, one of my goals was at this show was to try to look through all of the cards he had. I'll just flip through some of the stuff while I'm talking to you guys, but so you get to see what I've all the stuff that I bought. But anyways, it took me. He's got probably fifty thousand cards, signed cards. And my objective at this show, I knew he was going to be there, was to go through every single autograph he had. And I was just going to buy whatever I felt like was worth it. No matter what the price came out to be, I was just going to purchase everything I felt was worth it. So again, it took me like five hours total. I sat there, had to take a couple breaks. But I sat there, start to finish, one day basically spent my Friday looking through all this stuff and it was a good day to go because there wasn't really that many people there on Friday very few actually so it was a, a perfect day to go there and I got to see what he had before most other people I probably was the first one there I was the first one there and I probably saw everything first so I had the opportunity to buy everything so this card here uh, George Medic signed, so I'll get that off to him. We've got Jimmy Gatner. So the, what I'm looking for is, first of all, how difficult the player is. And I kind of know all this stuff in my head, whether the player is a difficult signer or not. And the other thing I'm looking for, well, is it, is it a good player? Yeah. And also, what set is it on? There's Rusty Cunts, pretty classic name there. So set what the card is signed on, what the autograph is card on, what, what card it's on, makes a big difference. So this, like these Doug Flynn's, this is a 1982 Topps traded set, and 80, which is a popular set to get signed, 82 Topps and 82 Topps traded. Now the traded ones are going to be harder to find. This is an 87 traded one, Baron Gear. And we have Don, Donner's Domian Kings that are, they're really sought after. A lot of people collect these specific cards signed, the Diamond Kings series, either from a, a team or the year or the entire run. Now, 1990 Leaf, you're going to see 1990 Leaf quite a bit in these. Very popular set. This is probably the number one set to get signed, 1987 Tops. And especially cards like this, LeRon Bloomberg, this is his, he was the first DH in the American League. And that's this card rem, um, remembering that moment. There's a Doug Col Dave Collins, uh, 82 tops traded. This set I'm collecting, this is 88 Fleer, and this is a Fleer update. So I'm probably halfway there on that one. Another 9D Leaf, Chris Carpenter. Here's a pretty classic looking card there. Lloyd Mosby with the headband and looks like sweet Jerry Curl there. 1969 Tops. 
Tommy Davis. Now, Seattle Pilots cards are real popular. So we have the 69, the 70, and then we have the Seattle Pilots set. So those cards are pretty sought after. Here's another one. This is 69 as well. Um, tattoo or something, I, I think, is what those were. Bob Robertson. Another one there. Al Oliver. And these would have been $5 a piece. Same with, like, Hector Torres. John Odom. Now, the guy I got these from, I talked to him pretty much the whole time I was there. He was telling me a lot of different stories. And one was that this John Odom, when he got signed, and John Odom passed away recently, but when he signed it, he said, I'm going to sign it just like the autograph below. So there's the preprint below. And he tried to get it as close as he could. Pretty sick card. Jose Akendo. Vince Coleman. Jimmy Ganner, Ron LaFleur, Omar Moreno's tough, Dave Stewart. This is a pretty awesome card here, 87 Fleer, Tony Scott, John Mayberry, so another traded card. Now 1992 Bowman, that's a set I'm working on myself. I just like that set. It's got a lot of cool photos, a lot of photos from spring training. Bill Doran's tough. Now this is an 83 Tops traded so that's even tougher 88 score traded there's a otis nixon card 86 tops traded he looks like he's about 80 in that photo he's probably 25 brian clark tough steve yeager tops traded 84 donruss is really popular tony scott i'm working on the 83 Fleer set so you can see a lot of the same sets here that I'm collect that I'm buying. 88 Fleer, 84 Donruss, 82 Tops, 89 Upper Deck is another one, 87 Tops. 1975 SSPC, very popular set to get signed. So I've got several of those in there. This is a 1976 Tops Kurt Bavakwa blowing bubblegum blowing champ. Kind of a cool looking card there. Giant bubble. Danny Jackson. Also the Gold Cup rookies I was buying. Whatever I saw of those. 89 Upper Deck popular. Some more 90 Leaf Cubs. Todd Hollinsworth, Gold Cup. 92 Bowman. And some other cards I bought because I think I think Phil Garner signed, so I'll get that out to him. Like cards like that, I wanted to get double signed if the other guys on the card signed. Through the mail. Some Reds team sets, the World Championship Reds team set. I think these will sell really well. Michael Berry's impossible. Raymond Sambo, he's a tough autograph. Big fan of his. Coca Cola, Red Sox. Gold Cup, Milk Kyer, more 90 Leaf, Ozzy Virgil's impossible, more Omar Moreno. Now, Danny Gonzalez, he's a difficult signature. I bought all the Danny Gonzalez he had, three bucks per, and I believe that would have came from a Pirates fantasy camp. Probably Mike Levi there, too. Lee Lacey. So these are pretty cool cards here that I'm going to show. We got Al Holland, 1985 Fleer, and then Lee Tunnel, 1985 Fleer. So 85 Fleer had some of these cards, Holland Tunnel. Another one, Toronto's Big Guns. I don't know how much of a big gun Willie Upshaw was. I don't think he was much of a home run hitter. We have Lloyd Mosby on there as well. So pretty sweet cards there to get both of them. 
Mike Lama's tough. Gene Tennis, World Series card. Bill Singer's tough. Mike Morgan, rookie. Benny Ayala, rookie, who he is tough as well. So all these guys are going to be pretty tough. Fritz Peterson, more 75 SSPC. Willie Wilson, I'm not sure if he's charging or not. I just bought that. Hopefully he's signing for a fee at least. Bob Stinson, notorious. Hates signing autographs. I don't know what his nickname was. It almost looks like Swingin' Stinson. I'd have to check that out. Tom Pachork, rookie. That's a high number. 1973 tops. So we got 1984 Fleer updates. These are really tough to find. Dick Schofield, Amos Otis, Al Oliver. Realize there weren't many of these cards made. The 84 update, you know, with the Puckett rookie. The Clemens and the good and rookie as well. That's a really expensive card. Not many of those cards out there that are signed of anybody. Tommy Davis, Al Jackson. I think Reggie Cleveland signs, so I'll get that to him. Tommy Harper. Another gold cup, Al Jackson, who is deceased, Cookie Rojas. This is a 63 Deacon Jones rookie. I always like these cards from the 63. Same year as a Pete Rose rookie, Daryl Chaney, who charges $5. Another Tommy Harper. Tony Gonzalez. More Tommy Davis. More Bob Stinson. I think Ray Lamb signs. So I'll get those out. Hopefully get those out and show you guys when they come back. This is 1969 Milton Bradley, Mike Shannon, Wes Parker, Rick Monday, Al Jackson, all these guys are pretty tough. I think those were five each. BJ Serhoff. Okay, and then we have Mike Fiore, he signs, so I'll get that out to him. And then we have this card, which I've shown in previous video. Ryan Sandberg on there, we got Reggie Smith. I'm gonna send that to Sandberg and have him sign that. He's charging 10 per. All right, now we got a little better stuff here in the top loaders, so we'll get into those. Nelly Bryles, World Series card. Here's a Larry Anderson, Mickey Mailer's deceased. I don't know, you could probably get Jack Morris at a private signing, and I'm not sure about Tim Jones. I'd have to look into him. Some Howard Johnson, Bill Madlock, Eddie Miller. That's a top traded. He's deceased. Willie Randolph's tough. Boog Powell, that's a nice card. 63 tops. Here's that card. I showed in a previous video cards you might not know are worth something. With the Bud Light hat, Budweiser hat. Pretty neat card. Kind of an iconic card there. Manny Sanguian, Chris Sabo. Henry Lawrence doesn't sign. Chet Lemon. Mickey Lolich for seven bucks. That was a good deal. Here's a uh, Joe McGrain and Daryl Evans. This is a sticker card. It would be nice to get BJ Suroff on the back of that. I don't know, maybe BJ's charging. I'll have to check on that. Set that one aside. I bought, I think I bought all the Tony Olivas he had. I do believe he's going to make the Hall of Fame someday. He was a great hitter. I think he deserves it over Harold Baines. You can make the argument up for a lot of guys now that Baines is in. Baines was a, a, a really good hitter, you know, close to 3,000 hits, but he never played the field, you know, I don't know. I guess Tony was a designated hitter as well, but that was a little later in his career. This was an awesome card, I thought. I think this is a 1948 Bowman. This is Charlie Justice, who was the Heisman Trophy winner. I think, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe 48 he was a Heisman Trophy winner. So I think this card is kind of trimmed, 48 Bowman. Either that or it's a photo and it's taped on or glued on a piece of cardboard. But anyways, a Heisman Trophy winner for 10 bucks. I'm going to buy that. That's pretty cool looking. Sammy Stewart. This is an 86 Tops traded. And um, Sammy was in jail for quite a while. I think he had some drug dealings or something. He passed away a while ago. So he kind of had a tragic life, actually. More Henry Lawrence. Manny Sanguian, Glenn Beckert. So this card is signed by Manny Sanguian, and we got Ty Klein on there. So I'm going to get that off to him. We'll get a dual signed card on that one. Here's a dual one here. Mike Levier and Greg Olson from a World Series, or NL 
playoff game, actually. Danny McLean, eight bucks for Danny's good. Mark Teixeira, Ruben Sierra, I love that card, 87 Fleer. Cleon Jones. I think Frank White is charging, so we got Bucky down on there. I'll try to get that signed by Frank White. A couple more, multi-sign there. Mickey Rivers, Otis, Amos Otis, Claude Washington is deceased. We got Joe Papatone, Van Slyke, rookie. Here's a dual signed LaFleur and Moreno. Jimmy Gantner and Bump Wells. I think the other two are not possible. So here's a tough David Wells, about impossible to find him. That's an 88 top traded rookie. John Vukovic, pretty sick. Mel Stoudemire there. Another Willie McGee. Some Miguel Tejadas. Ron Sabota. Another Henry Lawrence. Larry Bernard, I think is pretty impossible. Another couple multi signed cards. Ken Wrights, who passed away not too long ago. Yeah, I don't know about these two. I'll have to check, and hopefully hopefully those guys sign. Matty Alou. Jose Tartable. That's a high number. Willie Hernandez. He had some pretty good stories about Willie. Oh, Willie. Going to Tigers fantasy camps. Tony Kubek. He's in the Hall of Fame, the announcer's wing. He charges like 60 bucks in the mail. So 19 for that was a good deal. Hal McRae. Ray Knight, Ray Knight rookie, 78 tops. Ray Knight score traded. Bucky Dents for four bucks a piece. Great deal on those. There's a Willie McGee that I need. Tony Pena, Bill Madlock. It might be possible to get these two on the Manny Sanguian. I think he had a lot of run ins with Manny. Must have been a pretty good guy. Rick Sudcliffe, I forgot I bought this card. I forgot I had that in there. So that was from the 84 update as well. That's a really tough card. Sutcliffe came over to the Cubs in 84, and he pitched awesomely for them, helped them make the playoffs. Tony Phillips, deceased. This is a high number, 67 tops. You got Gates Brown, Dave Concepcion. So okay, some awesome Barry, Barry Larkins there, 12 bucks per. That's a great deal on those. Here's a card that is signed by... Bob Boone and Greg Luzinski. Right there, that is Larry Boa, who does sign through the mail, and we got Mike Schmidt on there as well. You'd have to get him in a private signing. Probably cost you 75 bucks to get Schmidt, so I don't know if that would be worth getting or not. Completed. Barry Larkin again. We got Mike Quaylar, 69 Milton Bradley. We got Ryan Miner, Aaron Boone, some Vita Blues, Buddy Bell Mini. Brady Anderson, Danny Martinez. This card has Andy Echebaron and Boog Powell. I think that's the only cards that guys that you could get on that. Eric Davis, five bucks. This is a nice card here. This is Bruce Fields, 87 Donruss sign there. But the photo is actually Darnell Coles. So he had Darnell sign that as well. Probably at Tigers fantasy camp. I did not realize that was Darnell Coles. It's pretty nice to have that one. Ali Rodriguez, Bob Tolan, Chris Sable, Gold Cup, Steve Avery. Rico Petroselli was charging. I think he stopped signing through the mail altogether. So I just picked those up. Danny McLean for six bucks. Louis Tiant for six bucks. And Norm Sneed. So that's it, guys. I got one more after this. So stay tuned for that. I'll have that in a day or two. Please like and subscribe. Guys, some support the Through the Mail community as well. There's a lot of cool people that are doing videos. Check it out. It's really useful information. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Check my eBay store, my ComC store, my Instagram. They're all below. Thanks for watching.